my god, I tell you what, it's absolutely great all night. It's after two in the morning. Let's hope it's not like this when we wake up in a few hours. <laughs> Back to sleep. Morning from Blakey Ridge. Hopefully you can hear us. <laughs> it's very windy, but last night it battered it down all night. We were heavy winds, heavy rain. We got up this morning, luckily managed to get the tents away while it wasn't raining, or I did. Um, went in to get some breakfast, but you've got a book, so I got two toast and a cup of coffee. And look who I'm walking with. I've let, there's a few people here because it's the only place to stay. So they're walking a bit quicker. I've let them go ahead and I'm walking. Look who's here. Marky Mark. <laughs> So, yeah, we and Mark are just going to take it easy today. Two days to go. There's about um, about 30 miles to go, I think. So you've got choices. We can do a 14 and a... I think it's something like 28 miles. 14 and a 14 or an 18 and a 12. Just going to see how we go. Whew. Yeah, I'm not sure if you can hear me. Mark's right back in the distance. It's only been <coughs> 20 minutes since my last, or 15 minutes since my last post, but he's struggling. I've decided today I want to walk solo. So I'm just going to make sure I don't catch them and they don't catch me. I, just, I think I'm just going to walk on my own today. I quite like it. And I came alone. And a lot of the, I, quite a lot of time I've walked on my own and I've walked with people as well, but today, I just fancy having a little uh, solo little walk, just in my own thoughts, my own pace. I'm not sure how far I'm going to go today. I'll see. <laughs> I keep saying this every day and pushing it, but when I finish tomorrow, that'll be 11 days. Never thought I'd be able to do it in 11. Woo! And that's because we've done two or three double days. It's supposed to be 14. So, uh yeah, anyway, I'll check in with you later. Oh, caught you finally. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! It's all right this so far, isn't it? It's not too bad. Yeah, I was just saying that, Josh. It, it, it ain't as bad as it looks, is it? No, it's all right. The wind's not bad, is it? No. Bleak up here, though. <laughs> Let's toss her over here. It's Who's this? Must be the Yorkshire Trailblazer. <laughs> the weather's cleared up a little bit now, which is good. Nice and cool. Do I have to have my waterproofs over my head for a change? And this is just a lot of road walking now. So it's well paved, which is nice. It was a little bit boggy before. And I'm sticking with the group, having a nice chat on the way down. To the finish, 36 kilometers. So again, I'm not too sure how far I'm doing today. Probably about 25 kilometers, I would guess. I don't want to do as far as these. Um, and then it gives me two gives me a bit of an easy day tomorrow or I split it 50 50 which will work well I must admit out of all of the walk the Yorkshire uh, North Yorkshire moors have just been very bleak there's just not a lot to see up here there is some greenery at the side so it's not too bad but yeah not that great up here hello <laughs> Right, we're out of the Yorkshire moors now. We're dropping down in some nice greenery. We've just gone through a little village, which is nice. Glazedale. Glazedale. Here with Daz. G give a shout out your channel. Daz Bass 007 on YouTube. Yeah. Check it out. Yeah, follow him on there. So he's done quite a lot of... Instagram, Daz Bass 007. <laughs> Don't get greedy. No, <laughs> no, she's done quite a lot of long walks and he he'll be doing his... Um, he's been vlogging this as well. So obviously ch have a look at his channel as well and watch his videos. It'll be interesting to see. He's made effort standing setting it up walking on walking back i haven't done that in this one as you all know if you'd have done this walk you'd be doing exactly the same yeah i must be mad <laughs> i know yeah <laughs> takes out you're doing enough on your legs so yeah we're just winding through this little village now yeah and no, i think i think the, the idea today is i've said it before but about 18 miles but about 14 miles there's going to be a little point where i can decide if i want to stop and then do another 14 mile tomorrow so we'll see i'm in no rush yeah beautiful eh? Just climbing through this bit of forest here. 
it's relentless up and up and up on these at least it's nice and slabbed but you've got no purchase with your sticks because your sticks just slide we took our waterproof jackets off i've rolled my waterproof pants up into a pair of shorts just gonna motor on now i'm at currently 16k for today going well just the two of us <laughs> keep going <Loaded> on. <laughs> We are 17 kilometers in, and I think today is about 27 kilometers, I remember, right? 28 kilometers, something like that. So we're smashing it, and it's midday. Now we're here, that wind has certainly dropped. It's actually really pleasant now. <laughs> and when we set, I don't know, we set out this morning, it was just so grim. Yeah. But now it's actually shorts on, taking the wind jacket off. It's what it's supposed to be about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, perfect. Yeah, it's actually getting warm, isn't it? The sun's trying to come through the clouds. You probably see it on here. But yeah, look, I've gone back to my old uh, nappy, <laughs> which is worked a treat. Feeling fresh. So two people here catching us up in the distance. Mark will be probably about an hour behind them, but he'll we'll see him eventually. We've just pushed on a little bit further. Now look at this. Look at these lovely stepping stones here. Eh? This is beautiful. This is lovely, this. Yeah, this is lovely little, just through the village. Now I think this is the 40 mile point. So it's only mid, it's only at one o'clock. And I think this is a bit where some people stay for the night. So I'm just gonna push on and try and do the 18 mile because I feel fine. Heels are a little bit sore, but we've not been going that long today. But look at this. Beautiful. Just be careful as we're going across here. I'm not paying attention, but uh, yeah, look at this. I think we've just got about another four miles to go today, which is all right, maybe less. And we've caught up with Ian, and I forget the other guy's name, but um, the guy I've been walking with um, from YouTube, he's He's on day nine. Me and Ian are on day 10 and we'll finish tomorrow, so we'll finish in 11. And the other guy's on, gate, on, on, on day eight. And there was a guy walking with us before. He's, he's set off, he's on day seven. And he's gonna get there today. Or day eight or something, he's gonna get there in eight days. I think this guy's taking an overnight. Crazy, so this is Grossmont. This must be the 14 mile mark because this is where some people stay or you can push on to the 18, which I might as well do. But if we can get a little drink or something here, or a little rest for a few miles, I think it's just four miles more to go, and it gives us a little bit of a shorter day tomorrow. Oh, there you go, yeah. There you go, Grossmont. Look at that there, old steam train. It's fantastic. Look at that. That's one of the best tools built to do with. Oh, the batch is charging. I just had a well-needed stop there for about an hour. I had a ham and cheese panini, coffee, and a can of Coke. My legs have a much-needed much rest. I needed that. And this is Grossmont. Um, I know I've not done much filming today. It's just been a little bit of a plod along, bit of a chat. Um, but now we've got, we've just had a really, really good rest and we've got a little four mile walk now. And that's gonna take us to um, to some kind of farm where we're gonna try and stay for the night. And then in the morning, it leaves a 10 miler, which is great. So the plan is in the morning to get up early-ish, maybe try and leave at seven, or maybe eight. I'll leave at eight, it's about four hours three to four hours to walk that four miles and then I should arrive into Robin Hood's Bay um, midday 12 o'clock which would be perfect the lads are just behind there double vlogging um, we were going to go and have a pint in the pub but it's closed so now we've got to go up this steep hill now going to kill me this but today feeling fresh so much better than yesterday 
Right, putting this away and getting on my poles. Look at this hill, 33%. Fuck off. <laughs> Got 23 and a half kilometres to go to the finish. Um, got four miles to go today, that's about it's about 8k, seven, seven and a half k. So that'll leave 15k to go tomorrow, 10 mile to the finish. Yeah, this is brutal. Just gotta keep going. I could not have done this without poles, that's for certain. I don't know if you can see it on the GoPro. You can see the sea. Finally, little statue, like, like little things on the side. I think that's Whitby. Amazing. So that in the distance, finally, is the sea of the east coast. We can't see Robin Hood's Bay. It must be over this steep hill. But first look of the sea. You know what? I'm finishing strong today as well. Lads down the hill behind me, I'm just powering through. So, I'm gonna put the GoPro away. Back to two poles, get to the top of this hill, because it's a fucking killer. It's 30, deg 30 odd degrees, straight up. And I'm hoping at the top we'll be able to see the sea. 22 kilometers to go to the finish. We won't finish today, obviously. I'm gonna split it up. Yes. Oh, feeling good, feeling good. I can't believe I've done this. I honestly can't. I'm gonna call this the couch to coast to coast. Like you have the couch to 5K, but I've not built up. I've literally just got off the couch, sat on my ass for six weeks, just come here and just done it. Wow. Oh God, still going up. Putting some distance between me and the boys. I'm hoping when I get over this peak here, I can see Robin Hood's Bay in the distance. Oh, keep going. Right, I'm not sure how much you can see on the GoPro, it's really wide angle, but if you look down there, that is, that is, where is it? Robin Hood's Bay. <laughs> just to be able to see, just to be able to see it, is amazing. And I feel stronger today. I felt like death yesterday. And after we in the pub, and sat down for a little bit, our shoes off, felt great. But then all night, my feet were, my legs were tingling <laughs> and aching and twitching all through the night. So I didn't know how I'd be today, but I felt really, really good today. A couple of little heel pains, but just to be able to see the sea now, it's brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you what, Yorkshire Trailblazer is doing break, my, he's doing my head in. I can't, I can't wait till I get to the end. Nothing to do with my legs, just so we don't have to hear the Yorkshire Trailblazer. Um, right, we've just got to the bottom of the hill now, and we just we just took a pay. We'll just cut off the official coast to coast route, and we're on our way to Intake Farm. And this is going to be our camp for tonight. Nice brutal hill there. I loved it. Powered up it. Um, so yeah, we're going to get to this little farm now. Pitch up. Nice easy night. Up early in the morning for a slog. We finally made it onto the uh, onto the side of Intake Farm. There's four of us here at the moment, all pitched up. I'll show you. Lovely pitch in the corner. And here's mine, I can't even get in the tent. I've just crammed everything in front of my door. This is a Lanshan 2. Look at that, that's a great little setup there as well. Loads of room at the back of that, haven't you? Got Ian in the Lanshan 2 Pro. Keen the million dollar man down here. <laughs> what's, what's this one again? It's a Locust Gear DCFB. It's a Japanese company. Yeah. But DCA, D, DCA. DCF footprint, probably worth more than our tents. That's just a ground sheet there, look. So the lady of the farm's just uh, making us a cup of tea, but tomorrow it's just 10 mile, just 10 and a half mile in, we're done.